it's critical that a franchisee uh, understands the franchise agreement because they're entering into a, a long-term business partnership with the franchisor and they need to understand what's expected of them and what they should expect from the franchisor. So they should do research and they should get the agreement read uh, by uh, a BFA affiliate solicitor, ideally. Um, it's very important for the franchisee to understand what's in the franchise agreement because of the implications that will have down the road. The core business elements will be included in the franchise agreement. The role of the franchisee and the role of the franchisor will be explained in detail in the franchise agreement and it's very, very important that the franchisee understands what their role is going to be. If a franchisee expects buying a franchise means that they will be given lots of work and that's not the case in the agreement, um, then there's going to be a, um, a difference in terms of what goes on with the business and there may be some shocks there. So it's really important that um, the, the franchisee understands that the, the legal agreement at the same time again most uh, ethical franchisors will take their franchisees through uh, the agreement spelling out the key points um, of their business system. The franchise agreement should always be checked out by a solicitor. I always recommend that they go to a BFA affiliated solicitor. There are a number of them on the website. The reason I say that is that if they go to a solicitor that deals with conveyancing, for example, who doesn't know anything about franchising, he will charge them an exorbitant fee. He will probably want so many changes made to the franchise agreement and the franchisor will not do that. So we always recommend the BFA affiliated solicitor.